the purpose of this video is to just uh, show you briefly how to commit a Pentaho uh, transformation or, or job that you've created to our Pinnacle GitHub repo. Um, so to do that, um, the first thing that we need to do is, uh, well, first we need to create our new, um, uh, our new transformation. Then you're going to go into Sigwin. And when you open Sigwin, what you'll see is that it uh, opens up in the home directory for Sigwin, so whatever basically your username is, and that is uh, that is on your C drive somewhere. I won't I won't bother to show you, but to actually uh, do something associated with the repo, we'll actually need to um, go into the repo that we're wanting to. Uh, to work with. So in this case, that's going to be the Pentaho repo. So I'm going to CD into my Pentaho repo. And a good best practice before you try to commit anything to um, the repository is to first do a git pull from the repository. Um, and the uh, advantage of that is that it, uh, it allows you to <coughs> uh, make sure that you're not having to uh, merge any changes with anything else that's going on, and that's especially true if it's been a while since your last uh, since your last commit or your last git pull, I should say. Okay, so it looks like we were already up to date. If we had not been up to date, you would have seen new files uh, populating or changes associated with existing ones. Okay, so now we can do a git status, and you can see in this particular instance, all we need to do is uh, is um, chain is is add this new file that uh, that I've just created for purposes of this demonstration. Um, if there were other changes to other files that we would made, those those would also be here. To add that new file, what we're going to do is we're going to type the command git add period, and that uh, that period just means add everything that's new. If we just wanted to add a specific a specific one, we could spell out the path for it. But in this case, I don't care. Okay, so now if we look at the git status, you'll see that it's changed from mean, harsh red to nice, uh, nice, uh, attractive green. So we're now ready to commit this to the repo. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to type the command git commit dash a. And this brings up a VI editor, um, which is basically uh, a, a, a text editing uh, platform um, that uh, will allow you to make a comment on the uh, on the commit. That's important for two reasons: one, for your own benefit, so you can see what uh, what you did, and two, to uh, for your uh, the benefit of your collaborators to see what the last uh, nature of the last commit was. So in this, uh, t if you're not familiar with VI, uh, VI um, to edit the file, you're going to hit I. And now I'm in editable mode, and I'm just going to type test git commit. And to get out of uh, editable or insert mode, you hit escape. And then to save your work and quit, you're going to type colon W, Q, enter. And now you see the, the message that I just uh, typed in there. <clears throat> now you're ready to actually push these changes to the GitHub repo. So we're going to type git push and enter the password that you set up. And there you go. And then finally, if we come over to GitHub, to this specific repo, you can see that the last commit was by me two minutes ago, and that it affected. You can you can actually kind of follow the the trail down to where it affected it. So. So that is how you commit a file to the GitHub repo.